What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy trick that I use when arranging my tracks. It's a pretty cool little tip, very simple, but it's a nice trick to be able to kind of sketch out an idea before actually diving in and having to build that idea. You kind of visualize the sort of structure of your entire track, put it down into the project, and then you build according to your original idea. So let's have a look. So we've got a couple of loops in this track that we're working on so far, a couple of sort of A, B sections that are sounding pretty good, but we wanna tie it all together. We wanna to create a, an entire track that kind of flows together that you know all works as an entire arrangement. So what I usually do is at this point, I'll either sort of grab a sketchbook and start listening to some of my favorite tunes and just sort of jot down arrangement techniques that those guys are using. Or another idea that I, I sometimes use is I'll load up a track into the DAW onto an audio track and I'll create another audio track beside that one. And I'll, I'll place audio objects on that track and color them according to how I want to sort of arrange it or the sort of uh, progression that's in the reference track that we're using. I like to use this because you're not limited to anyone track you can say for example create uh, another sketch track kind of situation we can use this uh, top one to sort of sketch out the energy that we want to uh, sort of put in in our low end we can use another one to kind of sketch out the energy that we want in our sort of percussions and rhythms and stuff so then let's uh, say for example rename this guy and this is cool because you can kind of use different colors to sketch out the different sort of levels of energy that you want in each of those sections so then we've got a breakdown obviously there'll be no percussions in the breakdown and then when it drops back in again then we want like full-on percussion so let's make that like a more vibrant color and then we can also make like a third one and that's going to represent our synths and our sound effects and all sorts of stuff like that so here you'll see i like to sort of build up the energy um let's say build it up even more here in the in the breakdown and then here when it drops back in with the bass and the percussion and everything i kind of like to empty out the synths again to add more energy into the low end and into the percussions and then slowly bring them back over the remainder of that bar, you know, something like this, and then back into like another breakdown section, and then come back in full on. So as you can see, we've kind of sketched out, um, I've added a ruler track here in Cubase. So we've pretty much sketched out an entire seven minutes of track, and that took us a couple of minutes. And now what we can do is we can just start slotting in the pieces that we want, you know, say for example, we want this sort of intro synths here, we want the kick and bass to come in here, etc., etc. So I'm going to fast forward this section because it can take a little bit of time. So you obviously don't want to watch me placing the blocks all tediously. So I'm just going to fast forward. And then using all the parts that we've created already, using all the sounds that we've created already, we can apply effects, we can sort of fade them in and out. We can do all sorts of kind of sound design techniques or, you know, add uh, sort of reverbs and stuff to those sounds and create a sort of uh, a sort of moving variation of all those sounds, but they're still the same sound. And that way you can create a sort of uh, a much more sort of compelling arrangement where the same sound kind of goes through multiple uh, sort of dimensions, you could call them.
as you can see, like I was saying, I like to, you know, um, build and build and build and then drop it into a section here, which is sort of just kick and bass for a while and then slowly build that up again to an even bigger drop, you know, with these synths and percussions and stuff like that. And I find it's, it's so much easier to visualize once you've kind of placed the blocks in already than it is to kind of like move these sort of objects or these groups of objects around um, and you might like leave one part there and it just becomes a lot harder to kind of sketch out with the actual audio files themselves and it's just, just much easier to kind of use these uh, these blocks that don't have any data in them it's just a sort of placeholder so to speak so I hope that gives you guys a little insight into a little trick that I use when I'm arranging my tracks let me know what you guys do if there's a technique that I should know about that I've maybe missed let me know in those comments a big thanks to IDM Mag, proud supporters of the dance music scene and my channel. If you like what I do and you want to support me, head on over to my Patreon and check the different pledges I've got for you there. As always, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. See you guys next time.